What's up everyone? Well, we're at this beautiful camp spot here in Colorado today and I wanted to show you how we got up here. Um, I think this is the most epic off-road drive I've done as far as elevation is concerned. We were like on the side of this cliff edge just going up, 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 up. It was fantastic. So we're at about 9,000 feet right now in Colorado and this was just such an epic journey and I got a lot of cool footage on the way up. Uh, so I just wanted to bring you guys along for that ride. So let's get mobbing. Let's do it. Yeah. I've been so impressed with this truck and how much fun it is to drive when I just do a couple things to make it super smooth and just soak those bumps like crazy. Looks like we're in the right place for some wheeling. There's a rock bouncer behind us. <laughs> what airing down the tire does is it makes it wider and it actually makes it longer. So overall it makes things a lot smoother, soaks up a lot of those bumps and it acts as a little bit of suspension as well. The other thing I do on all four corners of the truck, I turn those Icon compression adjustment knobs pretty much all the way to soft. Alrighty, that's all there is to it. Let's go do some mobbing. You ready, Coach? Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Another thing I did is the Curry Anti-Rock front sway bar. So we don't have to have the sway bar connected or disconnected. It's just always connected and it always allows full flex. And to be honest with you, it is a little bit of a handful on the road and it drives definitely a lot like a Jeep um, in that sense. But uh, it's kind of just preference. And I think overall, it's really fun. And now that it's a normal fire road, we can really get it. Even like this bump coming up here, it's like, you see that? Like we just kind of flow through it. <laughs> and little G outs like this. Those front hydraulic bump stops just soak it. It's a lot. <laughs> I've never been on a trail 
with this much exposure, let alone alone. <laughs> wow, it's cold though, it's 55 already. Might not be a good idea to come all the way up here just because of how cold it's gonna be, but. Oh, oh my gosh, this is the top. sign open to hiking horses biking dirt bikes quads and jeeps hey there we are at the bottom man. holy cow looks like we're going to camp by these trees but look at this mountain over to the right it's like it's it's just dropping off so aggressively this is such an interesting camp spot. I've never been to one quite like it. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is the most insane cliff I've ever been to. We could camp here, but for Coda's sake, I think we're gonna camp a little lower. Coats, this is nuts. Let's check it out though. Holy cow. Careful, Bubs. Be careful. Hey, be careful, okay? Oh my gosh. This is just insane. Codes, no, no, no. Yeah, this is so dangerous. You go like slipping down that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, just that sheer cliff is insane. Living full time out of the rooftop tent, I try not to go in the tent right when it gets dark. So this night I decided to take some long exposure pictures with my DSLR and I caught some really cool stuff and something red that was flying across the sky. Good girl. You excited today? Yes, he's excited today. Yeah, Bubba's. Man, it was a cold one last night. I stayed in my two jackets and shirt and my pants and socks and a couple layers and then had the heated blanket and heated blanket saved my life again. <laughs> um, it really is amazing how easy it is to keep the heat in under the covers. The main thing is my face gets cold if it's not under the covers. Um, but yeah, just an amazing spot. Yesterday's drive was just so insane. We'll let Coda run around a bunch before we stuff her in the car for a few more hours and uh, just soak up this super cold morning. <laughs> Coda's is trying to get something. Crazy girl. So rooftop tent life has been interesting. The hardest part I think about it is once you get out of it in the morning, you're pretty much outside all day. But don't get me wrong, I love being outside and when I had the camper, I was outside most of the day, but I'd start the day being inside, um, get a little bit of editing done, get on the computer, just get some work done and things. And that always felt good. And then, you know, a couple hours later, I'd wander around, and, or maybe I'd just get footage. But having a camper when you're full-time on the road is huge, man. 
I will say the tent is super comfortable and every time I get up there to go to bed, I'm just like, whoa, this is on top of my truck. It still kind of blows my mind. And I couldn't really imagine trying to full time out of any other tent. The James Brood is just super comfy, super easy to use. I'd say for weekend trips and even week long trips, the rooftop tent really is ideal because I don't feel like it slowed the truck down at all. Um, if you haven't noticed from me mobbing it, it it just feels great. I can pretty much go just as hard with all this stuff on here as I could with none of it. The camper, of course, is gonna weigh more and it's gonna change the handling of the truck a little bit more. Um, so that's really the biggest downside, I would say, of the camper. So thanks so much for watching this episode. I've had a blast full time on the road in the old uh, James Rude rooftop tent. So comment below. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like. If you wanna see behind the scenes footage from this video that was not included in this video, that will be posted on my Patreon, as well as early access to videos. Check out the link to my Patreon below for that exclusive content. Really, the only question is, are you down to mob with me? Bam.